It was a terrible wet day when I was married. A wet grey day in 1974. And I couldn't get to the church for the roadblocks. I was standing outside on the step and my mammy was screaming at me to come in before I got my good white dress dirty from the rain. Only, that was wetter from crying than the clouds could ever make me. Because Michael Donnelly was the only boy I ever wanted for myself. I'm just 17. He was the only boy I ever wanted at all. And it was still a miracle to me that he ever wanted me back. Since I always had to work the hardest, believing in miracles. Anyway, I knew they only fell into the laps of those who were pure in heart. Now it seemed certain to me that a pile of bricks and a roadblock would lose me, Michael, altogether. Because why would he wait for an hour or more in a church when he had that smile on him? That made you feel wicked and glad about it. And that look he gave you when he caught your eye when he was walking down the street. The way he put his feet down, happy and bold. And those hands, they were so warm and gentle, you hardly worried where he was putting them. Now why would a man like that wait two hours in a cold church for a wee girl in a damp wedding dress? And my mummy was trying to pull me daddy in, because he was outside shouting at the Brits, saying, This was supposed to be the greatest day of my daughter's life, and hadn't you gone and ruined it all together? And then a full source of them pulled up and stopped, and they all got out. My mummy was fit to scream. And did they not just offer us an escort through the roadblocks? That was my bridal car to me wedding. A full sarsen, full of breaths, all grinning and offering us bags and pleased as punch with themselves for the favour they were doing us. I was afraid to look at them. I was sure the big hulk next to me was the same guy who'd lifted Michael the year before. But they were nice as anything. There was wanted men at that wedding. He had grey hairs before he was ever married. And then I was married. Michael brought me here. And the rain stopped. And it even seemed like the sun would come out. And he stirred and stirred at the top of the path. I felt like we'd won through it all. Through the weather. And the roadblocks and the Brits. And there was never going to be hard times again. Because I was never going to be without him again. Well, it was just 17 after all.